Hey, Whole Life Challengers, I'm Casey with Kitchen Karate, back with the third video in the series. It's kind of amazing how the produce has held up all these weeks, I think. The first week we covered how to plan all your meals for the week. The next week we covered how to cook without recipes. And now we're going to bring it all together and I'm going to show you how to make all your meals for the week in two hours. This assumes you have all your whole fresh ingredients in and that you have your pantry stocked and ready to go. There's three moves left. Chop, sprinkle, and poke. We're going to use a kitchen timer for each of them. It's a lot like an AMRAP. You're going to do as many rounds as possible in the time allotted. You've got 40 minutes for each of those phases. So in 40 minutes, you're going to chop everything that you can and get them into mixing bowls. You want to chop as much as you can in 40 minutes, and that's going to determine the other two steps, how much you can do. It's a lot like how with a clean and jerk, the amount you can do is set by the amount that you can clean. Whatever you don't get finished chopping in that 40 minutes, I want you to put your knife down. I want you to put that food back away in your refrigerator for you to deal with later in the week. Then you're going to set the timer again for another 40 minutes. This time you're going to use the seasoning system we discussed last week to season everything. Have all of your spices and your pantry items at hand's reach and then rock it out. Three bowls at a time. Just get them seasoned. Send this one to Mexico and this one to Italy and this one to Thailand. Get them out of the way. Get another three bowls in front of you and just keep rocking it out like that until you have everything seasoned. 40 minutes hands down, wipe your hands clean. If you didn't get around to seasoning something, that goes in the fridge for you to deal with later. But you probably will be able to season everything you were able to cut. And the last move is poke. This is when you're gonna cook up all your meals for the week in 40 minutes. It's a very energetic time at the stove. The stove gets set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're gonna have your food organized into roasting trays, four of them so that every 15 minutes you can cycle two out and put two new ones in. Meanwhile, you're gonna work all four burners on top of the stove. Now, you might not wanna do this the first week you try it, but you'll find that you can actually manage it a lot better than you might think because you'll have seasoned everything ahead of time. You'll have cut everything ahead of time. All you're doing is looking at the food in the pans the entire time. As you're standing there poking, you, you dip your spoon or spatula in water to get the flavor off and you go into the pots and pans and you dip and you poke and you dip and you poke and that way you watch your food cooking. You smell it, you make sure that it's cooking up just right. Then you take it off the stove and put it into a cooling tray. By the time you go through a cycle of four pans, you'll probably hear the timer for the roasting trays. Then you take those out, put them to the side to cool, put the new ones in. When you take your pots and pans off the stove top, you want to just get them in the sink and rinse them out and put them back in the game. You don't want to be creating a whole stack of pots and pans by using a new one for each dish that you're cooking up. Just rinse it out, wipe it out, boom, it's back in the game. And then that cycle will repeat. You'll get through all the stuff on the stove top right about the time that your roasting trays are done. Pull those out. There may be some ingredients that need to cook longer than those 15 minutes. At this point, consolidate everything that needs to go back in onto one or two roasting trays. Put those back in for probably eight minutes. As that's happening, wash your pots and pans and wipe down your kitchen so that when those come out, all they're doing is cooling. When you finish cleaning up, they should be ready to get Tupperware up, put in your fridge, and then you're all good to go for the week. So that's all there is to it. 40 minutes of chop, 40 minutes of sprinkle, 40 minutes of poke, and you're done for the week. You don't have to clean up again. Your food is ready. You're eating whole fresh ingredients. You're living healthier, saving money, saving time, and showing food who's boss. If you've enjoyed this series of videos and want to get deeper into Kitchen Karate, I hope you'll join us at kitchenkarate.com. Sign up for the newsletter. We'll be able to give you more tips and strategies, videos. You can sign up for classes and an online subscription course where you can cook along with me each week. So in the same two hours, you'll cook at your house, I'll cook at my house. We'll make food together. Thanks for watching. I'm Casey for Kitchen Karate. Let's show food who's boss.